What's going on and welcome back. In today's video, we're going over OSINT. It's, uh, you know, for solving OSINT challenges, but there is an H added here. Um, actually, the challenge is all about one photo. We, you have all you have to do is to download the photo and answer the questions. So basically here, uh, the challenge is about locating and extracting intelligence details from one photo. And I've covered this in uh, the last videos. In one of my videos, it was about, let me check on the rooms. It was a very cool room uh, about locating GPS details from the photos. Let me check on the name. Yeah, it is Searchlight IMINC. So if you want, actually the, the post challenges are kind of non-related but the methodology is the same so in this room we have covered how to locate the uh, gps and the location from the photos now in this photo or in the current challenge we are tackling right now we are required to extract intelligence details in general from one photo so after we download the photo and open it you see here it is a windows xp background so there is nothing much to do from the photo. There is no uh, labels, there is no keywords that could be extracted. There is no any um, marks or geolocation marks, something like that. So it's a blank photo. So we have to go technical on that, which means we can use two tools. The one, one, one of them is strings and the other one is exceed tool. So we can start with the strings and the name so from strings we can examine the output and there is no nothing meaningful here i scroll up okay so with strings there is nothing much to do that's clear and type exif tool check it out so we have the metadata of the picture you can see file name directory file size we have to find something relevant from here or a lead from here that we can start with so basically if you look at the copyright normally the copyright of every photo contains relevant information about the owner so we can use this as a first lead gps position okay so let's grab this and all we have to do next is to google it You google that you will see there is really match on the string so basically we have a twitter account github we have another wordpress blog and here we have pawn lab me so pretty much we have the first four results talk about this keyword so we can examine the results and try to find answers for the questions in the crying hack me so we see here a cat picture and twitter account so going over the tweets, we can see the first one is saying from my house, I can get free for free Wi-Fi, B S S I D plus go nuts. And here we have hello world. If we take a look at the, at the description of the account, I like taking photos and open source projects. Okay. So let's see what we require to answer in the challenge. What is this user's avatar of? So by looking at the user, we see is cat. So type cat. what city is this person in now this is this is pretty much it uh, not clear right if you look at the picture it is nothing nothing clear from the picture it refers to the location and here we can see uh, um, there is no mention about any location or there is no hint about any location here so what we can do let's take a look at the hint so it's saying psid plus wiggle.net so take this and let's go to that website and it is saying that we need to use the bssid so let's grab copy from that and here this is a tool to locate wi-fi networks using their bssid all the networks found by everyone so all we have to do is to get ourselves familiar with this tool 
So let's see here what we have to do. View, basic search. Seems like we have to register an account. Let me use my email. This one is for these purposes. And the password could be anything like, let me see here some passwords. Let's see, grab this one. So basic search. Okay, so here we're gonna input the BSSID. Cell BT. Okay, let's use the BSSID we have found. Oh, so here we have a pin. It wasn't clear at the first display, I just zoomed out and I found there is a pin here saying it is London. So if you get back here and say the city is London, the answer will be correct. All right, what is the SSID of the web, what? web access point, wireless access point he is connected to? So we need to find the SSID of the wireless access point he's connected to. So basically, since we are in a Wi-Fi intelligence website, let's zoom in more. And here it will reveal the SSID name. Make sure to stray within the boundaries of the pin, not to lose it. So see here, the SSID name is Unilever Wi-Fi. So Unilever Wi-Fi. Uppercase. Okay. Okay, what is his personal email address? Now, for the personal email address, we have to move out of this website and get back here, check out the other links. We have a GitHub link. Let's find out more about this. Now, you may be tempted to look for the email address in the Twitter account, but as all of you know, in, the, in Twitter, if you choose to hide your email address, no one can know your email address, right? So let's look at the GitHub link here. You can see right when we open the page, there is an email address, so we take it. The next one. What side did you find his email address on? What side did you find his email address on? The side was GitHub, right? GitHub. Where has he gone on holiday? Let's check out more links. So, hi all, I'm from London. I like taking photos and business projects. The same description uh, seen in the Twitter account. This project is a new social network for taking photos in your hometown. Project starting soon. Email me if you want to help out. So, there is nothing about the uh, location of holiday. Let's check out the blog. The blog may contain relevant details about the question. So here is the blog, WordPress blog. Hey, I'm in New York right now, so I will update the site right away with the new photos. So here, New York could be the answer for this question. And it's true. What is this person's password? Now, this one is kinda not hard, but it's not expected to ask uh, to, about the password, right? Using open source intelligence. I know you might find very relevant and sensitive details with open source intelligence, but finding a password about someone uh, seems like 
I don't know, but let's try to find something. So here is the WordPress blog. Now, don't try to brute force. Don't try to scan the WordPress blog. You may, you, it could be a valid option to find the password, of course, but within the pen testing boundaries. Here we're not doing pen testing. Here we're doing open source intelligence. We have to employ uh, intelligence techniques to find the required answers. So if you click on view page source, we have to look here for something. So let's go down and find where this password could be. So at first, let's try a rudimentary technique, which is ser searching for the string password. There is nothing like that. All right. So we have to look manually, unfortunately. So here's the author. Okay. Here is, look at this one. This one seems unique, right? I mean, why? It's very weird to put this um, value when you mention style elements like colors, right? So let's just put this in mind or take it aside. And look for more stuff. Okay, it must be this password. It must be this password because I, could, I couldn't find anything else. Uh, yep, so that's it. Cool challenge, easy. And if you want to do the Searchlight IMINT, I recommend you doing this challenge before because Searchlight IMINT is a bit difficult. It's not difficult, but it contains a new uh, concepts and fundamentals more advanced than the ones uh, outlined here, okay? So that was about today. See you in the next video.